Hello, my name is Noah Mayrofer and I'm a software engineer at Neo4j. I'll be part of a project called NALLM, where we have taken a look at how we can use large language models together with Neo4j or see what use cases can be found there. And we also created a few demos in this project. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at one of these. It's called Unstructured Import. And the goal with this demo is to create a knowledge graph from unstructured data. So we basically take some unstructured data, in this case text, put it in LLM and see what knowledge graph it creates from it. And today we're going to do that with the Wikipedia article for the James Bond franchise, because I think it's a pretty good show of some strengths and weaknesses of this demo. But yeah, let's get right to it. So this is the interface. We have three options down here. We can either toggle if you want to use a schema or not, search the file, or just click import. And for now, we're going to skip the use schema and just select the file. We'll come back to that a bit later. So we're selecting a file, and I have prepared the James Bond Wikipedia text here. It's 44 kilobytes, so it's not a huge amount of data, but pretty much we're just being text. So we select that, and we press import. And this import takes a few minutes to run because the nature of LLMs are not very fast. Uh, but I prepared a finished version here where we can just see the result here. And we can either save it to Cypher or save it as a new free import format. And that's what we're going to do now. So we press that and we get a little zip file. We can take this zip file over to new free importer, which I've prepared here. And we can click open model with data. Select the zip file, press open. And we get a few nodes here, uh, or labels, label types. And it's not very easy to work with from the beginning, so you have to spread them out. Uh, that's a limitation of the current import demo. But we can see a few different uh, labels it found. And for this television show label, for example, it had the properties for ID and year. We can run a preview to see kind of what the graph would look like, something like this. And then we can press run import to import whole graph. And import completed successfully. Great. So let's go over to the query tab. And we can run a little query here just to show all the connected nodes in the graph. And if we zoom in here, we can start over here. We got the offer I am Fleming. Uh, but here it already made a mistake. Uh, it says he published these books. And I'm fairly certain he wrote most of these at least, maybe published one of them, but all is published by him. Maybe it's both, uh, but it, then in that case, I think we should have relationships for wrote as well. And we can see here that if we follow this created by, we can see there the James Bond character was created by Ian Fleming, which is correct, as far as I know. And we can see also here that James Bond is connected to a lot of nodes, which is reasonable. Uh, but I think, I don't find the node right now, but it made a mistake here somewhere where it connects the character uh, as a franchise node. So it basically says this other character appeared in the James Bond character. Oh yeah, I think it's here, Vesper Lind. Uh, yeah, character in James Bond, which would be correct if James Bond was a franchise node, but it's a character node. So it makes some small mistakes there. But overall, I think we got a pretty cool knowledge graph out of just a few minutes of work. And you can probably work a bit with this to get it to work better, but as a proof of concept, I think it's really, really cool what you can do with this technology. Uh, so let's delete this graph and go back and look at the use schema version instead. So we can, here we can toggle the use schema and here it asks us to provide a schema in JSON format. And it wants a graph schema representation, which kind of looks like this. And I can paste it here. And this schema basically says only give us the person nodes or yeah, people. So 
you do the thing, same thing again, press import, it will take a while. Um, and But then it tries to only pick up people. So again, they can give a schema to the LLM and this makes it kind of filter out the data to only find people and we can specify relationships and we're trying to match the data into that uh, schema. And I've also got the finished version here. And this time we're gonna just take a look at the cipher format, which just gives us this, uh, like a cipher file. So here it worked out, it only created people and we got some names on them. So let's copy that, go back to query here, paste it in, run it, create nodes, and then we can just refresh this data, hopefully. Didn't work. Okay, let's just match note instead. Uh, and we got some people here. So we got Bond as a person, we got Rosa Keb, and then I. Dr. No. So uh, that worked uh, out as well. And that's uh, basically all I wanted to show you today. Um, thanks for watching. And these demos can be found on Nubray's GitHub. So if you're interested, just take a look over there. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.